Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and yes, welcome back to part three. Part three of what? Uh, part three of creating a tiered uh, storage spaces with dedupe within a server uh, 2012 R2 uh, data center. Uh, on the first part, part two and part one, part one and part two, yeah. <laughs> uh, we've been using Microsoft's Virtual Labs, and the reason why is because it's there. It's there for us to learn, uh, and I'm actually doing this stuff with you guys uh, because I want to learn with you and you guys want to learn with me so why not let's do it together I think on part one I got my notes again again all this information is going to be provided at the description so you guys can check it out on um, part one uh, we created a storage space and uh, part two we modify this this uh, to implement tearing and then on today's video we're going to create a tiered volume with deduplication uh, as you as you can see on the screen uh, I left you guys off here doing the last uh, command to get the information of the invoke command that we did on our DC control uh, to create um, multiple SSDs and HDD hard drives or fit you know to our physical disk okay so let's let's get started so I'm going to minimize PowerShell uh, because it looks like within our, the virtual lab PowerShell is used a lot so keep in mind, PowerShell is used a lot on Windows Server 2012, a lot. So uh, <clears throat> what it wants you to do is it wants you to get into your dashboard, which you're already in that dashboard. Uh, we need to go in our file storage and services. We need to go into our storage pool. And within our storage pool, we need to click on the storage um, space that we created, which was the DAS tiered pool, and I want you to right click on it, and we need to create a new virtual disk out of it. We're gonna hit next. Uh, we're gonna hit next on this because that's the storage pool that we want, and we give it a name. Now the name that it, they provided for us again, you can name it whatever you want, but it's called user file storage, and uh, it wants us to also click on create tiered. On this disk, on this virtual disk, it wants us to check. We can't check that off, so that's pretty strange. But it says, uh, click, yep, type the blog, click create storage here on the disk. Okay, so click next. Uh, I think we're gonna do is a mirror, right? Let me see, let me go back because it's kind of strange because it says uh, storage T enables automatic moving the most frequent within the center of the state, but uh. Click create storage tier on this disk. That's pretty strange. I'm not able to select it, but it's over here telling me the storage pool requires a minimum of one. So let's cancel this. Is yes. So let's refresh this. Let's, let's give this thing a refresh <coughs> before we even do anything. So okay, let's do it again. And uh, let's right click. We need to do a new virtual disk. We're gonna go to next. This is what we want, right? Hit next, and there it goes. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, user file storage. Now we're able to check it. I, I, I'm assuming that the server manager didn't uh, refresh itself right away. Who knows? Uh, but refresh it before you start the new virtual disk, and make sure you check create storage tier on the virtual disk. Uh, which is uh, storage tier enables automatic movement on most frequently accessed files to faster SSD storage. Cool. Uh, that's what solid state drive is, you know. Fast reading and output. I think uh, reading, what is it? Uh, reading and writing. So we're going to hit next. And it looks like it wants us to do a mirror. So with mirror, it allows you to duplicate uh, data within two or three physical disks, which is awesome, which allows you to reduce the capacity. So we're gonna hit next on that. Uh, the only one option that it basically says on the paper right here, again, I'm gonna provide all this information to you guys, but it's a fix. Uh, the volume uses space from the storage pool equal to the volume size. We're gonna hit next on that. And now on the size part, it wants you to, on the virtual disk size, on both faster tier, which is the SSD, and the standard tier, which is the HDD, it wants you to select a maximum size. So on both of these guys just do a maximum size you're basically using all the space okay uh, we're gonna hit next uh, a nice little summary of what's gonna happen and we're going to create it and it's gathering information 
It's creating the virtual disk. Scan it, rescan the disk, initialize the disk, and then update the cache, and we're good to go. Now, before we even do that, uh, if, if you notice right here in the bottom, it says create a new, create a volume when this wizard closes. So that's pretty cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit close. And a nice little wizard is gonna pop up. Hopefully it pops up. Okay, once the wizard pops up, it gives you this nice little thing before you begin. We're gonna hit next. Uh, and it wants you to pick uh, the DC. DC and disk nine. Okay, and we're gonna hit next. And leave all 379. Again, whatever volume size that you pick for your um, for your disk, for this disk right here only has 279. Remember, this is a virtual disk right here. We use the SSD and the HDD maximum size. So again, it was 379 for both of them. So we're using everything for um, for our storage, for our storage space. So we're gonna hit next, hit next. And uh, from here, you can assign it to any drive letter, but Microsoft is really picky and they want you to choose uh, H. So we're gonna pick H. It looks like you can even do a following folder and if not you, you don't have to assign a drive letter or a folder but you know assign a, let's you know let's assign a letter so we're gonna hit next and uh, from here uh, yeah so let select NTFS which is standard for a lot of uh, shares format that's the format for a lot of shares nowadays on Windows uh, file servers uh, default we're gonna leave it as that uh, volume label we're not gonna call it anything just call it new volume uh, this is not recommended so don't, why not deal with it it tells you right there not recommended so let's hit next now the ddu portion right here the data duplication we want to do a general purpose file server uh, ddu files older than blah and zero days will basically be deleted I believe I'm not too sure what uh, duplicated files older than in day zero does I'm assuming it deletes it okay and uh, once you complete, we hit next. Oh, and actually, you can set. Uh, oh, let's go back. General purpose zero. You can actually set a schedule, which is pretty awesome. Look at this. This is pretty cool. You can actually set a schedule of when you want the deduplication to start syncing up between folders. So that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna leave everything as default. Hit next and um, check your. Check your summary and once you're satisfied, just hit create. And it's gonna again gather information, create the partition, format the volume, add the access path, enable the dedupe, configure the dedupe, and then update the cache. And then we're gonna close it. And that's it, guys. That is how we create a um, a tiered volume with deduplication. I think on the next video, guys, which is part four, uh, I'm gonna show you how to create a new user file share within our new volume tier that we created on, on this part so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you have any comments leave them right below and i catch you guys on the next one peace out